Hello, everyone. I'm Royal Ailes, General Manager of RSU Public TV, and we are here with a very special program for you tonight. And in a few minutes, we'll bring you the program, the concert, the Kingston Trio Holiday Cheers, a concert recorded live at the historic Will Rogers Auditorium at Will Rogers High School here in Tulsa. And joining me now to my right is Joanne Lewis with the Will Rogers High School Community Foundation, a past president. Dave Rader, whom everybody knows around Oklahoma as the former head coach of the Tulsa Golden Hurricane and is also a graduate of Rogers High School and vice president of the foundation, right? Yes. Dave Rader. And over here is the woman who runs the whole place, the kitten yeah. caboodle, That's Nikki right. Dennis, who's the principal at uh, Will Rogers High School. We're going to take just a few minutes here before we get into the concert to talk a little bit about why you guys brought the Kingston Trio in to Tulsa. What was the purpose of having this great concert? Because I saw it was a, basically a sold-out event. So, Joanne, let's start with you. What was the purpose of this? The purpose of it was to make money. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's about making money. Right. And while we're at it, no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to get your donations. We're, <laughs> we're very fortunate in that we have an alumni who is a past president who has attended the Kingston Trio Fantasy Camp. Oh, really? So he, he, they were friends. They were friends of his. So when we were trying to figure out how to use the beautiful, historic auditorium, we came up with asking the Kingston Trio if they would come and do a concert for us. And they agreed. So we were very excited because we're hitting uh, a, a, a large contingent of people who, it's their music. Right. You know, they came on the scene in 1958. Right. They were the first crossover, I don't even know that we had that term yet, right. when they took folk music to the general public. Right. They crossed over to Cro the popular to, Yes, audience. they did. And, you know, they were the number, about the number three record sales only after Frank Sinatra and the Beatles in, in history. Then, which is another exciting thing. So well, we really the guys who performed at your show were not original. They've no. been in there from 40 years to 11 years, which is Correct. the new right, Dave? Right. So what was the purpose of bringing them in, the kind of money you were trying to raise? Was it for the foundation? You bet. The foundation is, uh, is and was set up to uh, assist, um, well, the, the teachers, but through, through the principal, everything is, is um, approved by the principal, but to assist the teachers in, um, in their... Um, instruction and opportunities for the students at Will Rogers High School. So we, um, Joanne mentioned uh, one of our members, past president Dick Risk, who had this connection. So how is it that we can continually raise money to help the, um, help the foundation? And this just seemed like a wonderful idea. The auditorium is outstanding, magnificent sound in there. And then to bring, um, this trio in that has such right. a, a deep history with a deep history of a, a building, mm -hmm. it was just a perfect match. Well, before we get to you, Nikki, I want to talk about a little bit for our folks out there. It's all about raising funds. And here at RSU Public Television, we are all about raising funds. And here's how you can help RSU Public TV. For your gift of $90, you will receive a DVD copy of the concert recorded live and for a gift of $50, you will receive the CD copy of the concert. $120 will get you both. Now, if you want to become a sustaining member, we have a lot of sustaining members from a lot of different pledge drives. But if you've not become a sustaining member of RSU Public TV, all you have to do is give $7 a month to get the DVD, $10 or $4 a month for the CD, or $10 a month, and you'll get both of them. All you have to do is give us a call at 1-800-823-7210. And or you can write out a check and send it to RSU Public Television, 1701 West Will Rogers Boulevard, Claremore, Oklahoma, 74017. Now, Nikki, you are in the business of training these young minds. The theater of the mind is a big, big place to get them ready for tomorrow. But you needed a lot of help. That's why they brought a plan like this together and this kind of concert. Yeah talk a little bit about Rogers, if you don't mm -hmm. mind, and a little bit about the relationship we would have with the foundation. Um, so Will Rogers closed its doors in 2010, and they reopened the school with a renewed purpose. And um, one of the goals of the school is to take students that um, normally would not consider that college is a choice. And so we send lots of students to RSU. It's mm -hmm. one of our 
schools we like to send students to. Um, but anyway, take kids that normally would not consider college as an option and um, put them in college classes their junior and senior years. So um, we have students um, in their junior and senior year of high school taking TCC classes, Tulsa Community College classes on our campus. We also send a number of other students to Tulsa Tech. And our ultimate goal is that every student their junior or senior year will be taking either TCC or Tulsa Tech classes. In order to fulfill that mission, when you're working with students that um, maybe college is not, their, their parents want them to go to college, they're excited about college, but they really don't know the pathway to college, you need a lot of help to be able to provide the services to the kids. And that's where this partnership is. These people love our school. Mm -hmm. um, they love the history of Will Rogers. They're very committed to b the being philanthropic supporters of our institution. And so they um, spend a lot of time and expertise on providing the services to our students. Well, we don't want to take too much longer and we want to get straight to the concert. We're going to come back and talk some more about the school of Will Rogers and what it means to a lot of people in this town. There's a lot of folks who really support that school and what it's doing even today. So but before we get to that, let's go to the concert of the Kingston Trio. Enjoy it. Hello everyone, I'm Royal Ailes, General Manager of RSU Public Television, and welcome to this very special broadcast of tonight's concert, the Kingston Trio Holiday Cheer, which was recorded live at the Will Rogers Auditorium at Will Rogers High School in Tulsa. And I just want to hold up what you can get tonight if you make an order for this concert. $90 gets you this DVD and $50 gets you this CD. So you will want to make a phone call, the phone number's at the bottom of your screen, and get these two products, one or both, and help out RSU TV because RSU Television is all about making connections in Tulsa. We are Tulsa's and Northeast Oklahoma's public television station, and we have an opportunity to promote good things like Will Rogers High School. That's what we want to do at this station, and we want you to know all about it. And to help me let you know all about it are my friends sitting next to me. Joanne here on my right, Coach Dave Rader on my on my right as well, we should say Senator Dave Rader, mm -hmm. and Nikki Dennis, who is the principal of all those young men and women over at the high school. So let's get started a little bit more about Will Rogers. That place is known for its Art Deco. It's known for the people who have come through the halls at that place. I mean, Tulsa has produced a lot of great people who've moved on to great, great things. What does Will Rogers High School, Joanne, mean to you personally? Oh my goodness. Uh, it has a wonderful, warm, fuzzy feeling. My days at Will Rogers were wonderful. I think I, I was there in the 50s, mm -hmm. so it's been a long time ago. And many of the friends that I made there are still my friends mm -hmm. today. Uh, Did you go to a lot of sock hops? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. We had a lot of dances in that old gym after football games, yes, and we did our sock hops. And almost every Friday night during football season, we were dancing in that gym. Really? And, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Uh, I was kind of a social butterfly, not, not such a good student, particularly. <laughs> <laughs> school, school was kind of easy for me, really. I kind of felt like everybody came and we had a good time. And you know, that's, a, that's the thing about the Kingston Trio, is that people came there, uh -huh. many who had gone to school there, and they're like, oh, I haven't been in this auditorium in years. <laughs> and then friends came from, oh, they drove from Oklahoma City, and really? they'd say, oh, I knew you at OU. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen you since we were at OU together or at OSU. Wow. You were hearing those kinds of conversations the night of the concert. So people are thrilled when they come back. I think hardly, I think Nikki can probably attest to Many, many times through the week, someone just shows up to take pictures that they're visiting someone in Tulsa once right. again, and they want to see the school. <laughs> well, talk about the school. We want to talk about the concert because a lot of you all, if you get the DVD or the, C or the CD, you'll rekindle a lot of those memories that you grew up with because this is your era primarily. So if you would like a copy of the DVD, all you have to do is give us a call at 1-800-823-7210. 
$90 gets you the DVD, $50 will get you the CD, or you can write a check and send it to RSU Public Television, 1701 West Will Rogers Boulevard, Claremore, Oklahoma, 74017. The coach, we're not talking football these days. We're not even going to talk about the state legislature because that's what you're part of. Thank you. Yeah. But we want to talk about the Kingston Trio and what they mean to you and that what, particularly what that school meant to you and means to you today. Well, that, that, that's a loaded uh, question right there. To have the trio win, and as, as you, we have saw one segment so far, I mm -hmm. dare you to take that DVD or CD and not pat your foot or move around a little bit because you, you just can't listen and, and not, not move a little bit. You know, the, the, the music is fun, it, it, it speaks to you, and it up, uplifts you. It, so it's great to have that in that auditorium. Because that, uh, you know, for us that went to school there, that auditorium means a lot. As a sophomore, when we would sit in up in the balcony and the seniors would yell at us and we were required to <laughs> remain silent, and, you know, those, those traditions uh, come back to your mind. But you, you, you look at that stage that they're on, some of the people, you were mentioning some of the people that come through, you know, you realize that David Gates uh, has, has been there and, and you, you know, Leon Russell, mm -hmm. Russell Bridges have been on that stage, and, and there's so many more that we've had in the in the uh, in our Hall of Fame that you come to the school and visit, go down the Hall of Fame row, and you see how many talented people have been on that stage. And then to have the Kingston Trio come in there, they just blend in magnificently. Well, Nikki, for the school to come together and create a foundation to raise funds for you guys and the city to put the bring the school back, because after the doors had mm -hmm. shut, that place was who knows what it would have mm -hmm. become. And, but that's got to mean a lot, and especially when you bring a concert in to keep things alive. Yeah, it does. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about the relationship between the foundation of, and my students, if you don't mm -hmm. mind, because I think we are very unusual. Um, I think I did not know what alumni was. I, I had no idea what alumni meant when I graduated from my high school or my college. I really learned about alumni participation when I got older, when I was a graduate myself. But my students know who, what the word alumni means. They know these people. They see them in the hallways, they greet them. And then I have a really quick story of something that happened. So a couple of people came to visit from the class of 1957. They were planning what they believe will be their last reunion. And mm. um, one of the ladies was trying to decide whether she should go down the stairs or take the ramp. And one of my seniors ran up the stairs, gave her his arm, and said, let me walk you down the stairs. I didn't ask him to do it. He did it. They got to the bottom of the stairs. The kid put his hand out and said, I'd like to meet you. He said, are you an alumni? And she said, well, why? I'm the class of 1957. He said, well, I will be in the class of 2018. I am excited to join your ranks. So part of the magic of this foundation is the intergenerational relationship between students and people that uh, walk those halls and the influence those people can have on students. And I think that's, you know, I challenge anybody that re listens to this amazing concert and who have walked halls, whether they were a positive or negative right. influence, to get involved in their local schools because that really makes a difference. And it also means get involved in your local university as well. Well, there's a great way for you to get involved with the, with the school. All you have to do is give us a call here at RSU Public TV and order the DVD or the CD so you can have this at home and watch it anytime. It makes a great Christmas gift. This is the Christmas season, and it will make a great stocking stuffer if you are so inclined. So here's how you do it. $90 will get you the DVD. $50 will get you the CD. $120 will get you both. Or if you want to do it as a monthly giver, you can do it for $10 a month to get both items. So please give us a call at 1-800-873-7210 or write a check to RSU Public TV, Will Rogers Boulevard, 1701, Will Rogers Bo West Will Rogers Boulevard, Claremore, Oklahoma, 74017. Now, when we come back, we're going to talk some more to our great friends here, but we want to go back to the concert so you can really enjoy some great music of the Kingston Trio and their holiday cheer. Welcome back. You are watching a great concert, the Kingston Trio Holiday Cheer, recorded live at the Will Rogers Memorial High School, a historic place here in Tulsa. 
and it was a, a fundraiser for the school, but we're here to bring it to you so you can enjoy the Kingston Trio. Not often do they come to Tulsa, and this was a great event for them to come and perform. Now it's a great event to have in your home. If you would like to have this concert in your home for you to enjoy any time of the year, all you got to do is give us a call. The number's at the bottom of your screen. And do that for $90, you'll get the DVD. For $50, you'll get the CD. And for $10 a month, you'll get both if you want to be a sustained giver. So please, just give us a call or write a check. Send it to RSU Public TV, 1701 West Will Rogers Boulevard, here in Claremore, Oklahoma, 74017. Claremore, USA. So I'm joined here by three great friends, Joanne Coach, Raider, and Nikki from the high school. And we're talking about what the, you, the school really means to you and what, how great an uh, opportunity to bring in the Kingston Trio. Who created the idea or came up with the idea to bring the Kingston Trio to Tulsa and to the high school for a concert? Well, Dick Risk did mm -hmm. that. He's the past president and basically the founder of the foundation. Mm -hmm. And he had attended fantasy camp and with the Kingston Trio and had, had made friends with the current, the, the three current Kingston Trio guys. And so he's the one that said, this is a beautiful thing to do if they will come to our beautiful auditorium. Is fantasy camp anything like baseball fantasy camp? <laughs> yes. It basically, <laughs> it basically means you pay a bunch of money to go play like you're a star. Really? <laughs> yeah. and, you, and you get to hang out with the, and these stars. And you hang out with these stars and you get, to, you get to be on the stage. And, wow. And Dick is a good singer. He truly he? has a wonderful voice. But their so, harmonies are tight. Oh, my uh, goodness, yes. Oh my goodness, yes. You hear that now as, as we're watching tonight. Oh yeah. Just how, how good yeah. they are. And I'm yeah. so glad that the audio is as, is as good as it is on, on this recording because when you're there in that auditorium, if you've never been in the auditorium, you don't really understand because the, the sound in the auditorium is magnificent. You know, the, the building is, mm -hmm. uh, everybody talks about the Art Deco, but the reason it was built as an Art Deco was because it would employ more people. It was at a time in, in our country. Where WPA we, building, isn't it? Right. Yes. Yeah, part, of, part of the funding mm -hmm. came from them, so they wanted as many people to work on it. So when it came to that time to build that auditorium, it was the PA de Resistance. It, it was the magnificent part of the building. They wanted to do right, and it is done right. So anytime there's a, a concert there, anytime uh, just I want to say even just an assembly of students, it is a special time because the the room itself is special and magnificent. You can see kind of that in the DVD, some of it a little bit, but yet when you hear that sound, it, it comes from, from that building being so well constructed. Well, Senator Rader actually kind of brings something up that I remember. So the Kingston Trio played twice and Rogers. Mm -hmm. They played once in February the, of 2016 and then again in December mm -hmm. of 2016. So they came twice. Wow. And um, they told me um, that they had been playing all over the world and that one of the finest auditoriums they played in was at Tulsa, Oklahoma, Will Rogers College, Junior and Senior High School. That's pretty amazing if you think a testament to the city of Tulsa and the state mm -hmm. of Oklahoma that one of the premier places to play music mm -hmm. is right in our backyard. Just goes to show you the workmanship of that era. They don't do that these days, right? No. Everything's built on the cheap, not, not the cheap, but it's cost, built on cost. Whereas there was a lot of time and effort put into that building to make it what it is today. Yes, and, and at the time it was built, it was, it was an advanced type of um, education. Right. It, it was, it's kind of a new movement going in. So we, we think of these things as common, but uh, in that building there, there, there was gonna be auto technicians. That was new. Mm -hmm. in, in that building there was gonna be woodwork. That was new. In that building there was gonna be metalwork. That was new. All of these things daycare. were. I didn't know that. There was a daycare, there's pictures from them. Um, Life Magazine came and t did a photo shoot of Central High School and Will Rogers, and um, there are pictures of student, young students being cared for by students at Rogers. So children being cared for by students at Rogers. They had a daycare. I didn't mean to So they were ahead you. of the game. Very ahead right. of the game. Right. So. That's pretty amazing spread. I actually have a copy of it in my office. Do you really? That Life Mag I should have brought it today, but that Life Magazine spread of Rogers and Central, I mean, being featured right. nationally in, I think it was 19, it was before World War II, 
So it was like right before, so it was right yeah. as the school opened. Yeah, the school opened in September of 1939. And uh, the colors even, the paint colors were very special. They were all designed for the type of study. They, they varied from the disciplines that they taught in the classrooms. Well, this is all about nostalgia. It's all about bringing back memories and friends of good times. We all seem to have great times in high school, and we all have great friends from high school. And you're going to want to remember all of that because they brought the Kingston Trio in to help you remember that and celebrate nostalgia. And you can celebrate nostalgia in your own home. All you got to do, give us a call at 1-800-823-7210 and order the DVD for $90, order the CD for $50, or for a sustaining gift of $10 a month, you'll get both. Or for $120 at one time gift, you'll get both. Give us a check, write it out to RSU Public TV, 1701 West Will Rogers Boulevard, Claremore, Oklahoma, 74017. The thing that struck me about this concert was that these guys seem timeless, ageless. Coach, I don't know about you, I didn't play football in high school, but my body can barely move around. <laughs> And I'm not as old as you guys are. And the reality of it is, I, can't, I was amazed on how these guys still had the vocal range, the air in the lungs. They could still pack it, and they hit it with a great punch. You, you wrapped it up extremely well. And their, their timing with each other, you know, is truly professional. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you could tell this was not their first rodeo, of course, mm -hmm. because they are the trio, mm -hmm. and they should be that well polished. But to, to interact the way they did, to make it feel to you that it's fresh, that, well, this may be the first time we've ever done it. And you know that the longest standing member of the group right now has been in there for 40 years. So no, it's not his first rodeo to do it. Just made the whole evening outstanding uh, in, in, to be there in attendance. And we were so glad that they came and, and we could share our building with them and they could share their talents with us. And now you're sharing uh, that cheer that they brought that night too. Well, we're gonna share it with you. We wanna get back to the concert so you can enjoy some more great music from the Kingston Trio. Aren't you enjoying this great show? The Kingston Trio recorded live here in Tulsa at the Will Rogers Memorial High School. It's their Christmas uh, program called Holiday Cheer. And it's a great Christmas gift for you should you like to put one in a stocking somewhere. All you got to do is make a phone call and you can have your own DVD copy of tonight's show or a CD copy of tonight's show because you'll make it a great Christmas gift for family and friends. All you have to do is give us a call. The number's on the bottom of your screen there or you can write us a check. Send that check to RSU Public Television at 1701 West Will Rogers Boulevard, Claremore, Oklahoma, 74017. You're going to want to order these two pieces of Americana and have it in your own collection for you to enjoy for years to come. And your family's going to love it as well. Joining me now for one more time here is uh, Joan on my right, Coach Rader on my right, and Nikki on my right, who's the principal out there. So let's talk one more, a little bit more about the school because... We are in such a great community to have this kind of school producing these kind of people. In the past, you're still producing great people coming up in the future because, Nikki, you have no idea what great minds are going to come out of there, right? Right. You just have to kind of paint the picture for them. Exactly. Don't you? Absolutely. You know, what's interesting about students is, and it's kind of funny, um, they do the Hall of Fame assembly for our kids every year. So the recipients of the Hall of Fame we kind of do a run of their speeches and what they're gonna do it when they receive it in the evening. And they actually give the, the um, statue to the recipients then. Mm -hmm. But what is interesting is to listen to the people that have walked the halls, talk about what they were like as a kid. So you have students that were athletes like um, Senator Rader. You have people that, like Joanne, who, who calls herself a soch. <laughs> she was very social. You'll have people that say, I was really shy. There'll be people that'll say, you, I never thought I'd amount to anything. And what I love about it is I think our kids can see in the people that receive it themselves. Mm -hmm. And to me, um, I would just say to any young person watching this show or anybody that's a mother or father or grandchild or I mean grandparent to make sure that you let that kid know that there's something special inside them. All they have to do is figure it out. And that's what I think happens at our school. Sometimes kids come a little rough around the edges, um, but they can end up being, you know, amazing human beings that change the world. And I think Tommy Evans is an example of that. 
um, that story yeah. about, is that his name, Tommy Evans? Right. That was the OU wrestling we coach? Put him in last year. Yeah, that lived, his parents went to the gold rush in California and left him in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma by himself and he lived above a grocery store and he was a very poor kid, kind of trying to make himself through, way through uh, um, Will Rogers and ended up being the, not only the uh, graduate of Oklahoma, the University of Oklahoma, but the wrestling coach there right. for a number of years and won national championship. And then it's, great story. it's a great story. And that's the kind of story that we need to repeat so our kids hear. It's a great local story. Mm -hmm. I mean, you really hear those kind is. of stories nationally all the time, but when you can actually touch it and feel it and it's from your community, that makes it very special, I think. Mm -hmm. Don't you agree, Coach? You, you bet. And that's, uh, again, the, Nikki's been very generous with the, uh, uh, the display that she's allowed to be in the school. Um, again, it, it, it is everyone that comes back into that Hall of Fame or every alumnus that comes back says, well, what can we do for the, uh, for the students today? Well, the foundation is set up to help the teachers help the students. That's, that's why the foundation was set up. And then while we're at it, let's put some uh, pictures up in the hallway here, some stories about some people have gone down the hallway before you. And don't think they're any different than who you are today going down the hallway when when an, another story of one of our Hall of Fame inductees who tells her story and she ended up mm -hmm. on Broadway, she ended up um, in, in West End and she's, she's done a, a lot of work and she tells the students that when she left for class and her family was at, living in a school bus, she really didn't want any of the, her classmates to see where she was living in the school bus. And so that's why she would get to school early and things like that and say, okay, she had a tough time too, she made it. Mm -hmm. All right, this school can offer this opportunity. The faculty is fabulous there. I, we I have some Claremore people at our school. <laughs> <laughs> Number at, of teachers drive from Claremore to Rogers. And so it, 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 it continues on. And it's just, so when we do a concert like this, we want our people to come back because we, we, we want our alums to be involved even more than they are now, but we want, to hear, I want them to hear the good story about the good things going on there mm -hmm. now. And so when we have these concerts, and, and it's a great concert it was, and again, I challenge you to listen to that thing and not move your feet, mm -hmm. okay? We have accomplished that. So yes, we wanted to do it again. Thank you for your help and, 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 and letting us uh, oh, to, to show what we're doing there and, and may it help RSU at the same Anything time. Anything to showcase Tulsa. That's, that's but, what we're about at this station. Everything we do at Will Rogers High School is to inspire the current students. Mm -hmm. And you're doing a great job with it. Mm -hmm. You know, really what? Are. I, I think that's one thing about our foundation that's really special is that um, the demographics of Rogers have changed. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the, if you look at a picture from 1955, you will see very few students of color. Mm -hmm. If you look at a picture of 2017, you'll see many students of color. Um, in a country where sometimes diversity is a challenge, it is not a challenge at Will Rogers. In fact, I would say that the, the graduates of Will Rogers embrace my students and care for my students and want their success as much as they would mm -hmm. um, no matter what they look like. Mm -hmm. That they have one common bond which is to walk those halls, right. to go to class, to struggle with the um, kind of emotional turmoil that happens when you're a kid, to figure out who you are. Those bonds are much stronger and deeper and I think that's one thing that the Kingston Trio brings to us is that common humanity. Because my students saw the concert, they, they previewed it, and my kids liked the Kingston Trio as much as the adults that paid to see it. There is a common humanity that we, I think we need to build on in, in, in this country. And I think Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Northeastern Oklahoma understand that. Well, this just isn't common humanity for just the alumni of, our, of Rogers, <laughs> Will Rogers High School. It's for, it's for everybody <laughs> in Northeast <laughs> Oklahoma. If you're out there and you like the Kingston Trio, you grew up with their music, or your son and daughter might like them as well, give us a call here at the station, and we will rush out to you a DVD or a CD, whatever it is you would want. $90 gets you the DVD, $50 gets you the CD, $120 gets you both, and you will want this for your own collection. All you have to do is send us a check if you like at RSU Public Television, 1701 West Will Rogers Boulevard, Claremore, Oklahoma, 74017. Now we want to get back to the concert because it's a toe-tapping time. Everybody had a good time at the concert and you'll have a good time by watching it here on RSU Public Television.
And let's get back to the Kingston Trio Holiday Cheer. Hello and welcome back from the program of the Kingston Trio Holiday Cheer. I'm Royal Ailes, the general, general manager of RSU Public Television. And I just want to talk to you for a moment about this program and what it means to our community of Tulsa and to the alumni and to the station here at RSU Public TV. Now you can have a copy of tonight's concert of the Kingston Trio recorded live at the Will Rogers Memorial High School in Tulsa right here. DVD copy or CD copy. All you got to do is give us a call at 1-800-823-7210. For your gift of $90, you'll get the DVD. $50 will get you the DVD. $120 will get you both. Now, if you want to become a sustaining giver, all you have to do is give $10 a month for both items. And that number, again, is 1-800-823-7210. If you want to pay by check, you can simply do that. All you have to do is write it out to RSU Public Television, and send it to RSU TV, 1701 West Will Rogers Boulevard, Claremore, Oklahoma, 74017. Now, you know, the Kingston Trio is, was a great, great, and still is a great, great concert. Those guys, they do great music. They've always done great music. They've been around since 1958, and they were crossing the mainstream when no one else was crossing the mainstream. They really had great songs. And here at this concert, they were once again singing at the top of their, of their lungs and belting out some great songs. When you order this DVD or CD, you're going to get songs like The Little Lighthouse, Good Night My Baby, Go Tell It on the Mountain, Angels We Have Heard on High, because it's their Christmas CD. It's their Christmas DVD. You're helping RSU TV with your gift of $90 for the DVD and $50 for the CD. We want to promote those kinds of things like this here, the Kingston Trio coming to the Will Rogers Memorial High School and showing their, their concert. This community always has and always will continue to produce great people. And Will Rogers High School is no different. They like to acknowledge that with their alumni association and their foundation by giving back to their community, their school, for the, in, in the form of money to their school teachers. And we want to be a part of that. We want to help in any way we can. By airing this concert tonight, we're giving back to the school and making awareness to you all that this concert was there. When you order this concert from us, you're helping RSU Public Television to continue to bring great programming to you. Your generosity throughout Northeast Oklahoma has been felt in so many ways. And at this station, your generosity continues to be felt by giving. If you want a copy of tonight's concert, all you have to do is give us a call at 1-800-823-7210. Or you can write us a check and send it to RSU Public Television. Mail it to 1701 West Will Rogers Boulevard, Claremore, Oklahoma, 74017. And when you give, know that you're giving to help RSU TV continue to bring more great programs like the Kingston Trio and Holiday Cheer. Now let's go back to the concert and enjoy some more great, great music. Welcome back. You are watching a great concert recorded live here in Tulsa at the Will Rogers Memorial High School, the Kingston Trio. It's their Christmas concert called, uh, what was it called? It is. Holiday Cheer. Holiday, Holiday cheer. cheer. I forgot for a second. <laughs> Holiday Cheer, the Kingston Trio. In Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> and you can have a copy of this right. CD or a DVD. All you have to do is go to the phone and give us a call. The number's on the bottom of your screen. For $90, you'll get the DVD. For $50, you'll get the CD. $120 gets you both. Or a monthly gift of $10 will get you both as well if you want to make it across the 12-month payment plan. Not a problem there. Give us a check if you like. 1701 West Will Rogers Boulevard is our address here in Claremore. Write it out to RSU Public Television. Now, I'm flanked here by some really great, two great alumni and the lady who runs the place over there. That's right. <laughs> Joanne, who's a who's a really a, a, an alumni from what year did you graduate? I don't want to. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Coach Rader, what year? Twenty years later. <laughs> 
and Nikki. I'm gonna tell you when I graduate. <laughs> well, you're you're kind of the adopted daughter of I Tulsa, am. right? I am. And right. actually, my high school looks like mm -hmm. uh, Will Rogers High School really? in Pocatello, Idaho. So. Well, I, I just want to. I want to go through some of the names that have gone through the halls of that place. Okay, I mean, it's show. pretty phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, Elvin Bishop, who just did a concert a couple years ago here in town. Gaylord Sartain, David Gates, Leon Russell, Anita Bryant, mm -hmm. uh, Lee Mayberry, mm -hmm. S. E. Hinton, who everybody knows mm -hmm. who she is as an as an author, and Russell Myers, the creator of the right. comic strip Broomhilda. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. I right. grew up mm -hmm. reading. Broomhilda as a kid. But Roy, I'm glad you brought those names because, in, 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 uh, Nikki talking about the trying to, to bridge the gap between mm -hmm. who's been down the halls before and who's in the hall right now. And she's done a great job in doing that. But, you know, as a student there, I, I didn't realize that just a few years before I was in, in those hallways, there was a, a gentleman by the name of Neil Sparks who, who went to school there. Neil in Vietnam flew his helicopter back into a war zone with bullets coming at his helicopter, picked up his buddy and brought him out of that zone back to where he could recover. And the night that he goes into the Hall of Fame, that friend is there to say, thank you. Wow. But we didn't know that. So now we want the students in the hallway to know of Neil Sparks and his, his heroism. We didn't know, I didn't know that there was a gentleman that went down the hallway before me that if I had a bleeding, uh, problem under surgery that a Will Rogers High School student has now coagulated blood in such a way that you don't have to worry about bleeding to death when, when you have surgery if you're hemophiliac. He has really? come apart. So there's a doctor in Seattle that has come up with that, that walked those halls. We want to bridge that gap. Yes, yeah. these people we all know about, but there's so, so many, many more that we want to put in that hallway, bridge that gap. Well, it's funny you talk about that because I'm going to show my age a little bit, but I do remember <laughs> the hostage crisis right. in, in college, and I remember the young 27-year-old man that brokered that release of the hostage. He's a Will Rogers graduate. He's a professor at OU, Charles Gimble. Really? So he graduated in the 60s and at 27 years old negotiated the hostage exactly. release. That's pretty amazing that so many people we're in one building at the same time, and that's what the foundation gives our kids, as a sense of you too can make a difference in the world, whether it's in medicine, whether it's in basketball, whether it's in the arts, whether it's in architecture. Um, the guy that was um, a couple years ago, I can't remember his name, created the aqueduct, uh, aqueduct system. Yep, and you're gonna ask me to remember names. I'm not gonna remember his name. We're <laughs> but, not gonna but, do that. We're but, gonna show our age. But because of what he's That's done. Ron Flanagan. Right, Ron, Ron Flanagan. Flanagan. There you go. And so now he, what he's done is been copied all over the United States so cities won't flood as bad. Flood retention. For the flood retention. So the system that we have in Tulsa that's prevented the right. flooding was created by a Will Rogers graduate. Mm -hmm. And that's a, just a handful This is a great people. community, isn't it? Right. We it's live amazing. in a, a really great community nestled in northeast Oklahoma. We do. I mean, and Roy, I'm going to tell you, as, as an alum, much of that pride becomes comes from the gentleman who the school is named after because this area has a, we're at Rogers State University mm -hmm. right now. We're in Rogers County right now. Mm -hmm. We went to Will Rogers High School. But that example that he set is something we want to emulate and try to reach excellence in whatever we want to do as well. And, and the students can sense that. Well, don't you think part of it is, is that he re represented every man? Mm -hmm. The thing about Will Rogers that really fascinates mm -hmm. me, because if you walk down our hallways, we have a lot of pictures of his movies that have been blown up, so you can see you know, him as a young man, as an um, older man. But one of the things I think that's amazing is his face. He has one of those faces mm -hmm. that change with, with the character that he portrays. So you can look at him and you can say, I can see that he's a native son. I can see that he does, you could see that he's an Oklahoma Indian. You look, or Native American, sorry. You look at him, you can see that he is um, an mm -hmm. English gentleman mm -hmm. or a cowboy. Mm -hmm. He's just got this amazing quality that makes him every man, which makes him touchable. And that's what we want in our heroes. We want people that kids can emulate, people can touch. He cared about people, and that's really. And Will Rogers is producing heroes. He just from is. the names that you just Absolutely. said, you are in the business of producing. It's not, it's yeah. not has been, it's still going on. Yeah, that's right. You can get in on this if you like, because we want to celebrate 
a great school at a great time in this city's history because it's all about the people. And you can celebrate that by having your own copy, your own DVD copy or CD copy of tonight's concert, the Kingston Trio, Holiday Cheer. All you have to do is go on to the phone and give us a phone call or go uh, give us a check. Either way you want to do it. The gift is $90 for the DVD, $50 for the CD, $120 for both, or as a sustaining giver, $10 a month. Write a check out to RSU Public TV at 1701 West Will Rogers Boulevard here in the great city of Claremore, Oklahoma, 74017. And before we end tonight, what I really enjoy about our community, Tulsa's community, Northeast Oklahoma's community, is the pockets, the Will Rogers School Pocket, the, the Central School Pocket. Right. I mean, we got pockets everywhere of great communities yes. producing great heroes in our own community. Mm -hmm. Here in Claremore, same thing. Mm -hmm. We just buried a hero from Vietnam the other day. Yeah. Right. So we have some great strong ties to those young men and women that are rising up in our schools. And to keep Will Rogers alive, the, the Memorial High School, is phenomenal for the school to have done. I think, the public school system. Don't you think? Right. You got a job because of it. I absolutely <laughs> do. And, and, Roy, you know, there's a Claremore um, relationship to that because Keith Ballard was the That's superintendent right. at the time that made that decision. And who lives here in town. Right. Who is a local from That's Claremore. right. That's right. Well, we want you to get involved. All you have to do is give us a call at 1-800-823-7210, and you will be able to order your own DVD, CD, and, or get them both and have it in your collection at your home for a great Christmas gift or a stocking stuffer. So don't, don't forget and don't delay. Do that today if you would, right now in fact. So thank you for watching the Kingston Trio Holiday Cheer recorded live at the Will Rogers Memorial High School here in Tulsa. Thank you, I'm Royal Ailes, General Manager of RSU Public Television. We'll see you again next time, bye-bye.